Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and just fair warning, I warned everybody on Facebook about this too. This is a trick question. <laughs> so let's take a look. Direction say simplify. Really generic word in math that just says perform uh, the indicated operation. So basically obey the signs. The indicated offer, if it says plus, plus. If it says uh, multiply, multiply. If it says raised to a power, raised to a power. So that's what simplify means. Uh, but sometimes in the world of algebra, uh, we can do the simplifying and other times we can't. There's some simplifying we just can't do because of this unknown number idea. So uh, take a look at this expression. What do I have here? 2x plus 5. Now, there are two operations that are indicated by this expression. One of them is really obvious. I see a plus sign. Hello, there's addition going on. The other one might not be so obvious, especially if you're new to algebra. Do you see how this 2 and this x are shoved together like this? When two things are shoved together in math, they are multiplying. So there's the multiplication. So those are the only two operations that we have going on. Those are the only two things I could possibly simplify here. Well, let's take a look at these two operations. Order of operations says I should deal with multiplication first, so let's go ahead and look at that. What is 2 times x? Well, how the heck am I supposed to know what 2 times x is? x is a mystery. It's some number I don't know. x could be 7, it could be negative 3, it could be 45 halves. I have no flippin' idea what x is. Because of that, there's no way that I can make 2x any simpler than what it is. I don't know if it, it comes to 14 or 43. There's just no way to know. And so I cannot do that multiplication. Okay, nothing I can do there. It's as simple as it's going to get the 2x. So let's consider the addition. One thing super duper duper important that you need to know in algebra, that you need to know all the time really, is you can only add and subtract the same kind of things. In algebra, we call those things like terms. Write this down somewhere. This is so crucial to the GED and this is the reason I wrote this problem. I want students to understand this. You can only add and subtract like terms. Like terms have the same variable portion. So this is two x's over here. It's like two x's, you know, I've got two x's. That in this term, its variable portion is x. Now I look over here, this term, this is just plus five, like five ones, a regular plain old five. It's not a number of x's, it's just five whole things. And so because these two things are not like, they don't have the same variable, I cannot add them. Um, there is nothing I can do. This is the final answer. There is nothing to simplify here, and that's why I say this was a trick question. But I really wanted to do this because I've seen so many students who get an answer like this and are not satisfied with it, and then they do a bunch of nonsense, okay, uh, trying to do that addition which can't be done. Okay, so just a reminder of what it means to be like terms. If they were both plain old regular numbers, 2 and 5, of course I could add them. I know what that comes to, 7. If they were both x terms, like 2x's plus 5x's, well, if I have 2x's over there and 5x's over there, I know how many x's I have. I have 7x's. But because these are not like terms, this one is an x term, and this one is a constant term, a plain old regular number. Since they're not like, I cannot do this addition either. So there's nothing to simplify here. Final answer is 2x plus 5. This is a totally legit answer in the world of algebra. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.